Hey Tech Talk viewers. Well, I usually am reviewing tech that works. Today I am showing you tech that doesn't work. And this is my Apple Watch 42 millimeter Apple Watch 3 with GPS um, exhibiting backlight failure. Uh, actually, uh, I've been using this uh, Model 3 watch, Apple Watch 3, uh, with GPS for about a year plus now. And uh, it's been through a lot. It's been through marathons, hundreds, thousands of miles uh, on bike, on running. It's been to me every day for work. Uh, and it's served very well. I love the product. It's uh, great. There's been no physical damage to it. Its uh, screen is, uh, despite all of its use, is scratch free. I don't know if I can show you that. There you go. Nice reflection right there. But just out of the blue, uh, yesterday driving home, noticed that started to bleed and it's been bleeding more and more um, ever since. And you can see how the lines are just horizontal. You can see that terribly well. Um, and I think the backlight is bleeding. The whole thing is functioning great. Uh, actually, we're able to ping our phone. We're able to uh, do everything it's supposed to be doing. Uh, there's no problem with its waterproofing. Uh, I can still take this in the shower, take it on the swim, track activity. Bluetooth, Bluetooth still works. But the problem is, um, you know, as you can see right here, my whole backlight is not good. Now, here's the bad news. I've talked to Apple Care, and uh, they ran the uh, serial number for warranty. This does come standard with a one-year manufacturer's warranty. Um, this is not part of the recall uh, for any battery or cracked screens that otherwise would have been eligible for uh, out-of-warranty replacement. So basically they said you're on your own. Now this is the big debate whether or not something like this happens to your Apple Watch after a year plus uh, is going to be kind of luck. Uh, I would hope that a product as uh, you know uh, premium as an Apple Watch would have had longer life and less product failure or a better warranty for them to own up for this uh, but they're basically going to stick it to me as the consumer uh, with a $299 repair for a $350 watch that was new uh, which lasted a year fortunately however I did have a discover card with an extended warranty protection that doubles the warranty so I will make a claim against the purchase price uh, using my extended warranty. So this is where your credit card may be something that can bail you out of something like this. But even with Apple Care, should I have had paid for this, this would have amounted to an extra about $80 for the Apple Care plus a $70 repair fee, which would put you out for $150, saving you, okay, I guess half on the repair and replacement of the phone if it ever did this. I'm sorry, the watch if it ever did this. Um, so buyer beware, this may be something that you want to consider with your tech one day, that even taking care of it, the components still can fail on their own. Uh, overall, this watch is something that I would still uh, get. I'm waiting for the upcoming announcement uh, for the possible Apple Watch 5, actually, to replace this with uh, whatever new upgrades that they do have, uh, as this has been a revolutionary watch as far as its uh, function, its integration. The phone feature is a little bit convenient, but it's a little gimmicky. So I frankly have not used the um, cellular uh, services nor felt the need to need uh, to have an individual cellular plan for this. But again, a little disappointed at the quality of uh, the workmanship when it comes to the durability of this watch. Battery's fine, charger's fine, function's fine, but the backlight is bleeding, as you can see, unfortunately. And Apple uh, will not replace this under extended warranty, so it's on me. And the replacement price is essentially the cost of a new phone, which is disappointing. Now, uh, one of the things that you can troubleshoot is uh, just holding down the reset and the dial button together. And this basically resets the, the watch. You can hold it down like you're seeing me do right now for a couple of seconds. But the problem clearly is hardware because <laughs> look at the Apple logo here. This is not software driven. This is totally bunk. 
which tells me that there's probably a hardware failure somewhere in the actual backlight or the connection somewhere, and it's interleaving all these little uh, bleeding areas here. Essentially half of the screen now is not getting the right signal to, to turn off or dim. And I will basically wake everybody up in a movie theater with this. At least theater mode should work uh, once we log back in here. Anyways, uh, that's my tech talk on the sad state of my one plus year old uh, Apple Watch 3. Uh, I still highly recommend the Apple Watch, uh, but a little disappointed at the quality of workmanship and the lack of extended warranty that uh, Apple uh, has not extended for this product just because of the time that's uh, passed since its, uh, let's see, November 27 purchase date. And today is uh, September 2019. Uh, nevertheless, I've had many analog watches that have been working years later. So uh, buyer beware, this is the price of digital. You might have to factor that into your long-term uh, costs of adopting digital hardware and its complications that you see here. For what it's worth, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this video. Unfortunately, to those users search searching up a solution uh, to this backlight bleeding problem with vertical or sorry, horizontal lines, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a solution other than um, repair and replacement. Um, so, good luck to you. Please let me know if there is some simple solution. Although in this case, I think it's a hardware failure. Thanks for watching. This is the Chan Clan Tech Talk on the failure of my Apple Watch 3 and its backlight bleed. Thanks for watching.